Good morning and welcome to Morning Coffee in Kyoto with today's host, the Mustache Mug, and special guest, Ranch um, Salad Dressing Mix, because I thought of something that I can't, well, I rarely find here, and that is ranch dressing. Um, things you can't find in Japan have changed. Um, in the decade of time I've spent here. When I first um, was in Japan, I was only here for a short time and didn't notice the things I couldn't have. But it was really, when I was here um, for part of my university time, that I would look for things and not actively find them. And one of the first things I noticed then was there was a whole bunch of broccoli I wanted to eat and there was no ranch dressing. Um... I don't know what's wrong with me, but I cannot possibly eat raw broccoli unless I have ranch dressing to dip it into. It is a failing. Um, but if there are other people out there who are pre-programmed like I am to not dip and eat vegetables unless they have ranch dressing, then you need it too. Um, so I couldn't find ranch dressing anywhere. And I would like go to people and like ask for ranch dressing. And I would try to pronounce it as if it was written in katakana. And I would try to guess like what the Japanese equivalent would be. And I just discovered that it doesn't exist. Um, later, when I started living here like full time, um, sometimes and even still rarely... Costco will do a like, hey, everybody, try this interesting thing from America. And I would find ranch dressing like randomly. And I would be like, oh, my God, it's ranch dressing. Now I can eat broccoli and carrots for a month. But still, it was like a super not often rarish occurrence. Until I discovered on a trip back to the States when I was visiting people that you could get this like powder... Um, and mix it with a bunch of amazingly healthy mayonnaise. Okay, so ranch dressing is apparently just mostly mayonnaise with some spices. So, yes, I'm a giant child, but I need this to eat vegetables. <laughs> so, um, I was super excited to find this stuff. Um, and so now, there are so many other things that I used to try and bring back with me that now I've discovered exist in Japan, that there's random things that I can't find here. And so then I have more room in my suitcase to bring back more of it. So now I bring back several bottles of this every time I go. But since I have not been since January 2020. Um, went for Christmas 2019. On our way back, everybody was freaking out that there was a new virus in China. And they were like, you shouldn't go back. And I was like, for starters, I live there. So it's like saying, don't go back to your home. But also, it's in China. It's not there yet. <laughs> and as we all know, it shortly came over. Everywhere. So, I am running out of ranch dressing. That is my biggest problem in the world. <laughs> ah, no. Um, but, um... Yeah, if you're coming right now, if you're leaving on the jet program and you're coming here, um, bring one of these and uh, bring an extra one and you can send it to me. Um, I'll totally take it because, like, this is all I have left and it's, like, right here. And I'm so sad. I had several bottles of this. I think this one's, like, expired even. Yeah. But it's still good. I will keep it. And use it until it's all gone. Ranch dressing. If you need ranch dressing, get a couple of these guys and uh, put them in your suitcase. Um, everything else, like it's just food items I can't find. All of my toothpastes I can find here. All of my shampoos I can find here. Refills for my Oral B toothbrush you can order on Amazon. I mean, everything's here. Just food. Ranch dressing. Um, let's see. Stovetop stuffing. 
doesn't exist. I have learned how to make my own stuffing. What do you guys call it? Dressing? Stuffing? Uh, I've learned to make my own. It does not taste the same. Cornbread mix? Also hard to make without a box. I'm terrible. I can't make anything from scratch. But cornbread? Jif reduced fat peanut butter? I'm sorry. I know that's like random. But like I love the taste of that peanut butter doesn't exist here. But you can just go on Amazon and order like two giant bottles of Skippy. So don't worry about it. I mean like I remember not being able to get peanut butter here. Or you'd get like the peanut butter which tastes like just like mashed peanuts. That's probably what peanut butter is actually supposed to taste like but I'm from America. I need a little sugar in there. Um... But like, yeah, my dog loves peanut butter and the Skippy's an okay peanut butter. So I just order two jars and one's for us and one's for the dog. <sighs> yeah, there are very few things that don't exist here anymore. If you are here and you can't seem to find something, um, send me a message and I'll totally take up the challenge to see if I can find it. I love a good Google challenge. All right. So that's going to be it for today. I just wanted to say ranch dressing, a few other things, but for me, it was something I didn't notice right away until I was like, I'd really love to eat some carrot sticks or some broccoli with dip. Where's the dip? And people showed me many dips and I'm like, no, 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 no dip. Like, you know, ranch dressing. <laughs> I can just eat it with mayonnaise. I know. But when I eat it, I remember picnics when I was a kid and I remember my mom cutting up veggies for me. So maybe it's not that I have to have ranch dressing, but that I like to have ranch dressing because it's a nostalgia thing. And that's what we all need, right? Good memories. All right. I'm out of coffee. You guys have a great day and I'll see you tomorrow. Man, <sighs> my brain is not completely awake in the morning. <laughs> I should probably make these videos. Welcome to morning after coffee in Kyoto so I can at least think. 